Welcome to part 9 of Troubleshooting Basic Controls. We will be continuing with troubleshooting switches and loads. So here we have the, you know, the, the technique, well we have the switches and loads and the technician has to switch to an ohmmeter and shut off electrical power to solve a problem and this, well and what would be the voltage between R and, and C if the run, oh, see in the run winding, and so you can see the voltmeter is placed across R and C, are the R and C terminals of the motor, and it will read 230 volts again, and a voltmeter reading 230 volts across the run winding of a motor, motor, motor even when the run winding is open. See? And this is an ohmmeter reading of infinity, and across across an open run, an open motor run winding. As you can see, the wires are disconnected from the R terminal, and the potential current exists between terminal C and R, even when the run capacitor has been disconnected. And if, in the event that this the run capacitor is has a short uh, the ohmmeter would read the resistance in the path and then it would run the capacitor and start the winding and instead of reading the infinite resistance to open the path be and it would and it would not read the infinite resistance of the open path between terminal c and r that's it and have a good one i'll see you in the next one